Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to another Victober video. And today I thought I would do another one of my five Victorian novels about series. And today I'm going to be telling you about five more Victorian novels about marriage. So when I started this series, I did, um, I think possibly as my first video in the series, do a video called Five Victorian Novels About Marriage. But there are so many Victorian novels that look at marriage in a really interesting way that I thought I would do another one today and tell you about five more novels that look at marriage in a really interesting way. So we'll start off with Middlemarch by George Eliot. George Eliot is not my favourite author by any means. I am not a fan of her works very much. Her writing style is just not really for me, but I have read quite a few of her books and I can like appreciate and admire her um, exploration of themes, even if I don't love her writing. And Middle Art is a really interesting book when it comes to marriage. This book features several portraits of marriage, um, good and bad mostly bad um, and it looks really interestingly at marriage within the Victorian period what it meant and um, how it affected people and um, the complications of it and the complications of kind of marrying someone who you didn't necessarily know that well because of the way marriage worked in the Victorian period it is a really really interesting read when it comes to marriage exploring complicated marriages in different ways and comparing and contrasting different marital pairs um, both kind of younger characters and older characters so I think if you're interested in marriage then Middlemarch is one that you absolutely cannot miss even though it isn't one of my favourite books myself. I also wanted to mention The Woodlanders by Thomas Hardy. This is one of my favourite Hardy novels, it's one that I really really love. It is beautifully written with fantastic characters and a wonderful wonderful setting all around these woods and it looks really really interestingly at a lot of themes especially kind of to do with class um, and gender and relationships and I love the way this book looks at marriage. I'm not going to talk in too much detail about that and um, it's quite hard often when you're talking about Victoria books that look at marriage and um, the marriage is like a third of the way through plot point so it's a bit hard to talk about it spoiler free um, but the wilderness looks at marriage in a really really interesting way I really like the way it examines marriage um, and the complications within and the difficulties of marriage in some ways um, I think it's a really really good read um, such a fantastic novel um, with like amazingly emotive bits um, and fantastic characters so I highly highly recommend The Woodlanders and if you're interested in marriage within Victorian literature it is absolutely one to read. Next I wanted to mention Love and Mr Lewisham by H.G. Wells. I love this book a lot. This is one of H.G. Wells' realist novels and it is fantastic. It tells the story of a young man, Mr Lewisham. He is a science student and he wants to better himself. He is from a kind of upper working class, lower middle class family but he really wants to kind of improve his lot in life. And this book is about how he tries to do that and also how love and potentially marriage might slow him down in that. I think this book looks at marriage in a really clever, interesting, kind of poignant, complicated way that I really, really like. I love this novel a lot and the character relationships within it and the complications of those character relationships are wonderful. It is such a fantastic book and one that I highly, highly recommend and another one that looks at the theme of marriage within Victorian literature in a really, really interesting way. Next I want to mention Diary of a Nobody by George and Whedon Grossmith. This is a slightly different novel and one that I really enjoy. It is a Victorian comic novel. It focuses on a man called Charles Pooter who is um, in the lower middle classes. He's a clerk. He lives in London with his wife Carrie um, and he desperately wants to be more middle class than he is and a lot of the book is about him kind of trying to keep up appearances, trying to um, be respectable, trying to kind of get into um, politer society um, and also kind of of his general struggles in his home life and um, his relationship with his wife. I like this book a lot for the fact that I wouldn't say marriage is like the central thing in this book but I think this book is a really interesting book to look at in terms of marriage because it is a book about a kind of relatively ordinary couple um, living in the suburbs of London um, who are sort of not quite middle-aged necessarily but they have a grown-up son so they're a bit older um, and it looks at their marriage and their kind of relationship um, kind of in the background of everything else that's going on and it looks at their relationship in a really interesting way as well as looking a little bit at the characters around them too so I think this is a great read and another one you might be interested to read if you're interested in marriage within Victorian literature. Finally I wanted to mention Can You Forgive Her by Anthony Trollope which is a Anthony Trollope book I absolutely love. The central um, plot line in this book is actually about an engagement. Um, it is about an engagement between one young lady who is engaged to one man but tempted away from her engagement by another. That 
is the A plot line, which obviously looks at marriage in some ways because it is about an engagement and um, kind of looking forward to marriage. But actually what I really love about Can You Forgive Her is the secondary plot line, which is about this marriage, which is complicated and struggling um, and where the two people in this marriage don't really understand each other and I love that plot line and can you forgive her so much because I think it is done fantastically and looks at this marriage and this struggling marriage so so well. It is such a great read, one that I really really recommend. It's the first book in the Palace series, a series that I love and it takes this um, marriage and looks at it in a wonderfully complicated interesting way so I highly highly recommend Can You Forgive Her as another book to read if you're interested in potentially struggling marriages in Victorian literature. And that's all for now. I hope this has been an interesting quick little video telling you about five more Victorian books to explore marriage in an interesting way. That's all for now. Thank you very much for watching and I'll be back very soon with another bookish video.